well, so I have something to tell you. It happened again. Have you ever had anything happen where it makes you mad, but you know it's also funny too, so you're in between laughing and wanting to punch somebody? Like, that's what happened to me last night. So, I think Aziz has some kind of radar on him that lets him know that when I'm sleeping very, very good so he can come and just wake me up. Um... And if you guys remember a couple days ago, one of the reasons why I moved his stuff out of our closet into the hall closet is so when he wakes up early, he doesn't barge in here waking me up and everything. And I don't know um, if it's genetics or if it's just the way my body is. Uh, I know it can happen to anybody, but it happens to me a lot that whenever I wake up, like whenever I jerk or jump in my sleep, I pull muscles really bad in my back and also in my legs so that's another reason why I don't like to be woken up is because I'm always afraid of being in pain <laughs> well no I jerked last night luckily I'm okay like I, it wasn't bad but he jerks open the door I jump and then he's like Fatima I have a problem and well if your spouse wakes you up in the middle of the night and saying, I have a problem, you instantly wake up thinking, oh my God, I've got to drive to the hospital, you know, I've got to get a rag to stop the bleeding, you know, all those kind of things. I'm like, so I'm like, okay, let me show you guys. I'm like laying here asleep, okay? He comes in, I'm like, <laughs> like that, and he's like, fine, I've got a problem. I'm like, what, what? Guess what that fool says? I have a problem with my cell phone. My cell phone says it's 2.37 in the morning. And I'm like, you mother... So he comes over here, shows me his phone. Sure enough, it says 2.37. And he's like, what's your phone say? Grab my phone, turn it on. Bright light hits me in the face. 2.37. And he's like, oh shit. And then he runs out of the room. And I'm like, I'm going to murder you. I'm going to murder you. <laughs> and I'm like, so, okay, not only did he, like, jolt me out of the bed from a beautiful, restful sleep. But he is stupid because he thinks there's a problem with his phone. And really, it's just 2 o'clock in the morning. And... I don't understand because I know he's fasting and there's like a certain time that um, like when it comes like he can't eat anymore but at 237 it's still pitch black dark and he could still eat so I don't know why he was oh shitting at that I have no clue but uh, yeah he's gonna get a yelling when he gets home and I'm gonna tell him straight up if you don't stop doing that I'm gonna start locking the door and you just can't come in at all because I can't do this I woke up at 6.40 this morning, and I can't, I can't do this. You know, he had me up for a while whenever he wakes me up, and then the sleep lady said, I'm up every night for one or two hours, even though technically my eyes aren't open and stuff, but like my body and my mind is awake, and she said like, she could see when he wakes me up because I'm always in a good sleep and then BAM I'm awake so she was like yeah that needs to stop and I'm like thank you I know but he don't listen and that's just the most foolish thing ever who else out there if you think you have a problem with your phone you either one turn on your computer if your computer doesn't have the right time you google what time is it or you go, most people, which we don't have any of these, most people either have a watch or a clock on their microwave or stove or a clock hanging on the wall. We don't have any of those. But still, I don't understand why he couldn't get on his computer and Google. Because if you're going to be that awake and that concerned about your phone, then you could just flip open his computer, which is like right beside him. Like, oh my god. So... Maybe I'm going to take a sleep pill today. I don't know. It's hard to sleep, though, when it gets hot outside, so. I feel like I'm screwed today. Like, that's just, yeah. I mean, we did, and the thing is, we had a good night together. Like, we had a nice night together. We talked for a little while, and we spent time together. And then he does this, and I'm like, 
Why can't you be normal? Be normal. Like, it's 2.37. You should be sleeping, mofo. Come on. <sighs> so, I don't know what his problem is, but I'm gonna, when he gets home, I'm gonna be all ghetto and be like, hey, no, no. <laughs> but, I had some other things planned for today, but I think I'm just gonna do the daily vlog because I am literally out of it today. So, you get what you get, people. So, I'm gonna go for now. I'm gonna check my Facebook and I'm gonna get a drink and I'm gonna just lay here because I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, my hair. I cut my hair yesterday and I really like it. I got some footage. I don't know how it's gonna look, but if it looks good, I'll upload it. So, wow, I'm tired. Okay, bye. Well, I just got out of the shower. Aziz should be home any minute, and I am really interested to see why he woke me up at 2.37 saying he had a problem. Like, oh my god. Anyway, on another note, yesterday I made some um, honey cinnamon butter, and it tastes really good. And also earlier, I put some bread in the oven to get it toasted, and it it looks like wheat bread, but it's really white bread, and I just forgot that it was in the oven. <laughs> so, I'm excited to eat a little bit. I'm not eating three pieces, though. No. <laughs> no thanks. It's actually not too bad. If the bread didn't taste burnt, it'd be really good. Okay, so, here it is. I just put a little, um, butter and salt and pepper, so we're gonna try it. Sweating so much, guys. I don't care who you are, that does not taste like potatoes. That is nasty. Mm. 